Please welcome back Tim Reed and Daphne Maxwell Reed. Again this year, we have the honor of presenting the nominees for the 1999 Grace Prizes for Inspiring Acting, given to an actor or actress in a theatrically released feature movie and to an actor or actress in a network television program, movie, or special. Each year, Morgan H. Grace, Jr., generously sponsors these awards, which recognize those performers who, through their outstanding performances, best exemplify God's grace and mercy toward us as human beings. To present the nominees for the 1999 Grace Prize for television, we are proud to have a legendary husband and wife team. She is an Emmy and Drama Log award-winning actress whose career has run the gamut from Broadway to features, from television series to a Grammy nomination. She has most recently played uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's mother in the movie, The Story of Us. He is a tireless actor, comedian, writer, short order cook, vocalist, composer and director, and created and served as the original host of The Tonight Show. Please welcome Jane Meadows and Steve Allen. It's a pleasure to be able to address you as ladies and gentlemen because these days that you don't run into too many audiences that consist of actual ladies and actual gentlemen. We appreciate that. Thank you, darling. Thank you. And I'm married to one of them. Well, Wh which to get one? On. <laughs> the nominees for the 1999 Television Grace Prize for Inspirational Acting in Television are Roma Downey, Touched by an Angel, Catherine Hicks, Seventh Heaven, and Chuck Norris. Walker, Texas Ranger, Christmas episode. It's too late for your applause to affect anything. <laughs> Patrick Stewart, A Christmas Carol. And finally, Michael Tucci for Jag. And the winner of the 1999 Grace Prize for Inspirational Acting in Television is Chuck Norris for Walker, Texas Ranger. When I began Walker, Texas Ranger, seven years ago, I was determined to make it a family show. And then several years ago, we did our first, I consider, Christian spiritual show called The Neighborhood. And it was a show about a young girl, young black girl, who lived in Barrio. And as she was walking home one day, she was shot in a drive-by shooting. And she was in the hospital, dying. And uh, the doctor had given up hope on her. And then, miraculously, she survives. And the doctors can't understand this. And they, she says, well, I was on my way to heaven. And an angel stopped me. And it says, it's not your time. That you have a job to do down on earth. And that was to clean up the neighborhood that she lived in. And the whole episode is dealing with her cleaning up this neighborhood and bringing the gangs there to God. And uh, that was the first show where Walker, Texas Ranger, broke the top ten show rating rating so Chuck, folks would like to uh, show the audience here and at home the clip from the uh, Christmas episode of Walker Texas Ranger that earned you this honor thank you and when Jesus was nailed to the cross by the Roman soldiers what did he say Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. If Jesus could find it in his heart to forgive the man who nailed his hands and feet to the cross, how can you not find it in your heart to forgive Felipe?
I'd like to thank our writers for writing this magnificent episode. When uh, that particular scene was in the script, I was trying to think of what I could say to this young boy who was a gang member who became a youth pastor and now is going back to his gang ways. And what could I say to this young man to get him to go back to Christ? And so I sat with my wife and I said, what, could we, what can I say, honey, that would help me? So we sat down and we read the Bible. We both really feel like this award really goes to God. It's totally been inspired by the Holy Spirit, and we just pray that many millions of lives will be affected by it. Thank you.